What's up everybody, today we're going to talk about noise! Not that kind of noise, noise within photographs. Noise is usually described as visual distortion in an image. So for example, if you're shooting in low light, then you're going to get more noise in your image and it's going to distort the image. Obviously you get noise in your film photography based on the film that you use and things like that, but in digital photography it's slightly different. Sometimes the decoration behind or the, the blur or the bokeh isn't that nice when you're using high ISO and the noise just comes into a messy, messy blur. Again, as we spoke about, if you're there capturing moments, so a late night sporting event or something like that, it's okay to have some noise and some grain in it because that sometimes adds to the effect. However, if you're doing something like architecture photography or property photography, things like that, you don't want any noise in because that'll distort the image and give off weird colors and things like that. So you need to use a, a low ISO to minimize noise. So again, the main culprit of getting noise in your images is ISO and high ISO. The way to think about it is like a guitar amp. So if you've got your volume and amplification on the amp, the more you turn it up, the more noise you're gonna get. So therefore, when you're taking pictures, the more noise you're gonna get in a picture as well. The more you crank it up, that's it. So what happens if you're shooting mainly in nighttime and you need to get those high ISO to get the good images? What you can recommend is a full frame sensor. So something like Canon 5D Mark III, Mark IV, other full frame cameras, they handle and perform better in low light because they have a bigger sensor. And also you can get a higher megapixel camera and that has more megapixels. So the grain's not gonna be as bad because there's more pixels to work with. Whereas if you're shooting on something like a 10 megapixel camera, when you're taking images, the grain is gonna be over large size of the image because there's not gonna be as many pixels per image to hide that grain. So again like we spoke about in the previous video the way you can get around it is shooting low ISO or you can actually if you are shooting in high ISO you can use the camera's inbuilt image noise reduction to help reduce that or if you're shooting in RAW you can import it in your editing software that helps it loads loads better and you can also use noise reduction in the software or the specific applications and programs which are developed just to handle the noise reduction in images. Yeah.